up YouTube, we're back to another video. This video, I'm gonna be going over everything I will be doing to start off my Madden year. I know I'm on college football right now, but I got I, some stuff I just want to go over about Madden that's coming out at 4 p.m. Eastern. I am going to make making content on it. I'll continue make cut make make content and cut, but it's gonna be um I'm gonna be doing split content between the two games. But what I want to show you on cut first is firstly, make sure this is, you guys need to do this. You guys need get level 20, get level 20. You need to get level 20. And then you also, what's even more important, get your 70 stars in here, get to this tier seven for your loyalty. You need just get that done. If you have cut, get it done. There's no reason not to get the 70 stars. Like bro, you get, you get a choice pack between Saquon and Miles Garrett and then Josh Hines Allen. Honestly, the more important thing about it, yes, McCaffrey's better than McCaffrey's better than Saquon. But why not just go just go with Saquon and then just choose just get Heinz Ward instead of for your your first season one card. So then you have a running back is really good. You have a really good receiver. In worst case scenario, you put McCaffrey put McCaffrey at re receiver. So Saquon's definitely the pick. Cause I'm gonna be honest. I I know before I was saying Saquon's the last pick, but I think Saquon's the best pick in all that Ultimate Alumni pack. But what I know, I mean, I, I just don't know it's gonna work. But what worked really well last year, years before, this year in cut, will be stipend golds. I know it's boring, but actually, first thing, well, what I want to talk about first is, um. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up Twitter real quick, going over all the platinum packs, what was all we for period packs and all that stuff. And I'll show that. Right okay, we have Mata GG up now, and we have our Twitter up. Um, let's go there. I, I, Zerks might tweet it out. You can check real quick. So, apparently, by the way, if you level up, you get three. Um, you choose. You make up three of the eight. Three guys for 85 overall. If you level 35, which, um, pretty good. And then you can get some others from solos and stuff. Um, this starter bundle right here. Um, yeah, I know you might not be able to read it, but so it costs all your points, gives you 26, 78 to 84 BND players, a, a two quarterback, a two corner, one a one receiver, safety, then an a two platinum kicker and punter. I do not think this pack could move for your for your points. Do not buy the pack. At least that's my opinion on it. Um, let's go over here on. Where, come on, where are these packs at? Maybe they're not in here. Okay, let me go, let me, let me go to the guy that has them. Um, Slayin' Slays. This guy has some packs in here, too. Guess gotta scroll down. This pack right here. This platinum pack for 500 points of your, of the, like, of the points you have are actually pretty good. 500 points for... A 79, 80, and 280, 278 pluses for plat. That's pretty good, good value for your point. So what I think I will be doing is I'll be opening the two platinum packs there. Like right there. I'll also be making sure I save some points up for their special offers you can do. Which I don't know if it shows here. No, it's not show here. But I would really, I would encourage saving some of your points for special offers. Um, There's some good special offers for platinum packs and all stuff I would save. But to start the game, buying these two platinum packs here for 500 will add, will get you to start off with a good amount, of, a good few coins, so you can actually start flipping and all that stuff. But let's go back over to the auction I'll show, uh, so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. What I would, what I'm gonna be doing first, or what my first filter, my first filter of the year, I'll be doing. It's simple, but very effective. We will be having uncommon cards. I might do 70. I don't think 70 74 will be as good, but there is something you got to realize. The 70 74 is this year, which I can even show in here. Go over my month of GG. Look, I go over speed. Um, over here, speed. Look how fast some of these dudes are. Xavier Worthy. God speed. 86 speed in the game. We have Troy Anderson. This card is a, this card is crazy. He's crazy. Good COD, good speed, good Excel. Linebackers jump. He's six four. Like bro, sniping this card. People are gonna throw him for cheap for just for no reason. 
Free profits. This card should go for 20, 30k. Probably at, at the minimum, I would say. He's a he's really, really good. Um then we got some quarters that are speedy. We have another linebacker you could use as a user, you could use it as like a like he's a fast dude. This dude's really fast. 84, like look at all these gold the guys are just speedy. Really speedy players. I know they're low overalls, but like people be throwing these cards up for cheap just because they're low overall, not knowing. So I just want to look in the market. Buy like these gold cards, they're will be gold gold signs that pop up that you know speedy dude just you gotta know your players so it will take a little bit of knowledge like it'll it'll take you a little bit to learn some players that go more but some of these guys will just be great 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 profit snipes but my field my field that i'll be doing day one i might be doing 70 74s or 75 75 79s i do not know lowest card in the game is a 70 overall that's the lowest card in the game the get a player pack is here costs 2400 while in cut and the recruit pack costs 1500 but it's a 65 plus in cut in mud it's 70 plus but i think 75 to 79 might be the best still i don't know the speed demons though are all are very on the like they're on the 70 74 spectrum of cards but flipping old linemen like left tackles right left guards centers right tackles will all be good Right guards is questionable because there is a free A, not free A2. I mean, I guess he, like he's a free 78 or something, then he upgrades to, a, upgrades to A2 with a field pass. So everyone will have that. And center wise, maybe not center either because there is Jeff Saturday. Everyone will have Jeff Saturday on their team for maybe, but centers could still be good because people might not uh, upgrade him. And people might not have him, get him instantly. It's like left tackle. Left guard, right tackle will all be good positions for flipping these golds. Buying them for snipe, buying from snipes, reselling them. Fullbacks will also be good. All fullbacks are always good. But Tolbert, that um that fullback might change it. Might change it. And um Mike also might change it. But fullbacks are still expensive as if you check the market. But you still need backup fullbacks for theme teams. They will go for a little bit. They'll go for a good amount. I also like kickers and punters. There is no kickers or punters that we've seen so far except for that one bundle, which I do not think the bundle's worth it. So people are gonna be flipping their kick people are gonna be selling off kickers for cheap, but there are people are gonna need kickers that go for a lot. Like some some kicker might go for 10, 15, 20k. Buy them for five, six, seven K, make a few thousand, make a good amount of profit. It's worth it. Profit, like thousands, like a few thousand profit goes a long way at the beginning of the year. Punters will work too. D tackles always work. D tackles are I don't think I don't think that they're free D tackle. I might be wrong about that one. But D tackles are always good. Um safeties are always good. People always need safeties. The low safeties that are in the game, low corners that are just speedy will be great flips and great buys for people because people want their team to be good and fast throughout the year. Even if they have no coverage stats. People look at the speed and they're like speed kills in madden and speed kills in every in in all football games like because more speed you have the better chance you can blow by someone or the better chance you can catch up to someone in case of your corner or if your receiver like xavier worthy xavier worthy will be very very expensive the speedy guys will be very expensive like brian thomas jameson williams xavier worthy some other guys there will be tight. There will be a tight end. Like there's some tight. There's some. If you have really good speed, honestly, most positions will be very, very. You, you can set cards at every position, really. Even quarterback. You have AR. You have Jay Daniels. Running back. You have some guy from the Niners. Oh, uh, I can show. Let me let me bring them up. That back up. Let's go look at halfback. This guy. This guy. He might be expensive, but flip. You can flip him. You can flip the A chain. Like, people are going to be throwing these cards up for cheap for no reason. And you can buy them for people that don't get, um, that don't use McCaffrey or don't use that, um, Saquon Barkley. Go look at quarterbacks. People, like, Lamar's the best quarterback in the game, maybe, or for day one, Lamar's the best quarterback. But people will have Jane Daniels, Justin Fields, Kyler, AR, Jordan Travis. People want these speedy guys. I mean, honestly, AR's probably the better, better best one out of these few, but Jane Daniels has that. Three quarters one. He's the same release as Lamar Jackson. 
Lamar Jackson last year had the best release in the game. So if James Daniels, if that, if that, if that stay is the same from last year, Jay Daniels will be a monster. So I uh, don't uh, look receivers wise. I just tight end wise. Tight ends. You have uh, your gold wise. You have John Smith, Lawrence Cage, Noah Fant, Taysom Hill. Like these guys are gonna be, these guys are gonna be really really good. These all they're really really fast. I know it sounds dumb. Like Lawrence Cage might be a monster. John Smith will be a monster. You look at these guys. I honestly prefer Lawrence Cage or over John Smith just because he's a little bit taller, but he's gonna be a lot cheaper. I know it's long and speed a lot worse fast, but he's gonna be cheaper. No fans actually pretty good too. He has good run block, good route running. He's actually a really good card. But the main thing, like literally, just go look at like you, just, you probably you could even have the website on your like have have the website on the side and look at these fast guys. Look at these fast gold safeties and just go position by position. And make sure if you see, let's for example say we see Joey Blunt, we see him for gold for two thousand coins. We know. We will see him out that GG goes for 5k. Buy him for 2,000, sell him back 5k. Easy profits. Do, uh, do a lot of cards. This might be might not work. I'm not 100% sure. But previous years, this does work. Stuff like this does work. Flipping golds does work normally. And that, personally, flipping golds is going to be the best way to free, make coin early on on the year. Until the first week, week or two ends. And once we get more elites in the game. I mean, once... I mean, I guess once the elite market's more flooded. Um, even like, I mean, if you look at D tackles wise, this guy's really fast. He really, he's really fast, but he isn't doing anything else except for running at the quarterback for you. Yeah, I mean, he's not gonna be like, give the quarterback because he has no power move or anything. But I mean, he's fast. Some of these guys like Jalen Carter will be about to be pretty deep. He'll be pretty nice. Milton Williams will be pretty nice. Jordan, Tra Jordan Davis, like these guys are actually pretty nice, honestly. Like most of these guys are pretty nice. So, what I, my, what I, what I would do if I was you guys, day one, if you have your point offers, if you want to spend points, buy your two platinum packs. Um, these platinum packs do they do look worth your five hundred points? They look it, they look like it. I'm not hundred percent sure if they will be, because I don't have edge at the game yet, you know, but they look decent. Then I would probably get you some solo done, solo done, maybe wait an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, once the game come, after the game comes out for people to be able to post card the market, you know? And look at prices. Look at what, look, looks what is selling good, selling fast, and selling for big, good margins. You know that. Um, I will, you could, I don't know, you, there will be a lot of streams probably going, there will be a lot of people online streaming. Um, if you want to ask me a question, you ask me a question on Twitter or you message me on PlayStation if you want. Um, my my PlayStation at right now at is right now TB3 underscore 2K underscore YT. If you want to add me, you can message me. I'll answer you back. Hopefully, most most times I'll answer you back if you want a question. Or you can comment on a video. I'll answer your question about it. Or you can comment on this video, whatever. I don't really, it doesn't matter. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. And good luck to you guys for another, for a great Madden year. And yeah.